Imagine a world without cinema. The reason why cinema matters is the reason why any art form matters. It's a, an imaginative encounter with the world. Well, the first film that I saw in my life was The Sound of Music in a big theatre in Tel Aviv. I always remember my earliest experience of a cinema was the green face of the witch in The Wizard of Oz. I was screaming and crying so much when Bambi's mother died. A giant boulder and he's been chased down the, down the, uh, down the, the, the cave. Singing in the rain, oh, I go crazy over that dance scene and singing in the rain. I think it's how we develop an identity. And a good cinema, an old um, with a past, is part of that collective identity. This cinema is really unique. It's the last surviving newsreel theatre still operating as a cinema today. It has film plastered into the walls, basically. It was a cinema where I had my cinematic education. Somebody who had a very strong drive and a passion had been behind it. Dixon Scott, I was told, was always a great inventive character. In fact, a, a bit of a Renaissance man. It was a really accepting, diverse place to go. It was the, one of the only LGBTQ plus places. It was a very kind of out there thing to do. This is so long ago and such different times. It was kind of the, the place where weirdos and misfits outcasts would go and be accepted into a, a larger community, if you like. One of the great things about independent venues is that we've always been seen as an area or a source of provocation. A city like Newcastle needs, needs a townside cinema for its imaginative life.